Hey everybody, I'm Andrew from here, and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. We are, I believe, playing the Marine today. And uh, on top of that, we are working towards our last achievement, which is to finish all of our quests over here. I believe we have 20-something? 25. 25 shroomers we have to kill, which is going to take us a couple runs at the very least. But that's okay, because in the meantime, we're also waiting for the Advanced Gungeons and Dragons update. Uh, which is another free update coming to Enter the Gungeon, which I am looking forward to playing, quite honestly. But it'd be nice to have all the other achievements done first, so we can focus on those while we mess around with new stuff. I don't know if I've ever seen this room. Just want those gone, just in case. Now, I do like the Marine. He is more accurate. My volume in my headphones is also a little bit too loud. I feel like I'm yelling to get over the volume. There we go. Much better. You guys are doing. Ooh, why is that gold? Is that anything particular? This is the first time I noticed it. I think it's just a wooden. Yeah, it's a library. Nothing particularly special about it. One of those things you just randomly start to notice. Okay, let's take a little bit of cover here. Yeah, I do like the Marine quite a bit, uh, because he's got that little bit of extra accuracy, which for some guns can make all the difference. It's also fun because he starts with some armor. But what's even more fun about that is, as you may have noticed, whether or not his armor determines whether or not he gets a helmet. Or whether or not he has it. Which I just think is a really fun visual thing. Like, they could have just, you know, had him as one sprite the entire time. I don't think any other character specifically does that. At least not in a way that I am aware. We're going to leave that until we find the shop. But it, yeah, is it? It's just one of those, like, simple things that seems to be really nice. Like, just it means they cared. They added that extra little bit of effort to, to a character to make them feel more correct. Man, I'm really bad at shooting this, apparently. Good thing we have a gun with infinite ammo. Alright, we've got an NPC. I'm gonna hit this up first. Oh, cool. He rewards us for uh, showing him the entire... or well, coming back to him after we've revealed the entire map. We've got a brown chest, which is not particularly compelling. Hopefully our other chest is better. If that is a passive or use item, I will probably open. Passive items are passive items. And they are a benefit. And that grenade has killed itself. We can slow down, but we still basically have to run around the entire map, or the entire room. Don't know why that ghost didn't ever shoot. All right. Means our shop and our last chest are off of this branch. I've also just now noticed that he's just the, if, if you look at him as he runs, his mouth is opening and closing. It's rather weird. It's like he's breathing really heavily. I wonder if that's because his armor is heavy. I'm just save myself some effort here. I've been on point with the. Uh, Snowballer is not great, but we do have a salesman, so if we find a used item, we can pull some shenanigans. I now can pick up that key. I basically always want keys in the shop, so that key manipulation is just a convenience thing. You never know when you're not going to have enough. Well, that's what I like to see. Oh, nice. Maximum Pain, Liquid Valkyrie, I believe, I believe, this is a reference to Cowboy Bebop. Because it makes all enemy bullets slower. Yep. Greatly increased reaction times, more specifically. But it is argued, argued, that the way an animal perceives time is based on its metabolism, and I didn't really appreciate that. I don't, I mean, I do kind of want to go to the next floor, or the secret floor. I think stand here. 
also bugs who move very quickly, and therefore their metabolism runs really quickly. Or, well, it's not that they move quickly that makes that happen, it's because they their metabolism is fast, which is a side effect because they're small, they can move really fast. Oh my, I will gladly take an HTF. I mean, I'm okay with fighting the boss with base gun. It's generally better than a brown gun. Brown chest gun. Definitely some more effort involved. I'm going to have to use blanks very wisely here. And try to focus fire. We're going after shades. We did get an HPF at least. That should have blanked it, but. Now this becomes a little bit harder. might be easier. What did we get? What on earth? Oh my god. That's hilarious. Oh, that's legitimately hilarious. That is pretty funny. I don't know if it's a great gun or not, but... can't actually check for a room by shooting walls in there, so... Very nice. We can't really use this blank, but... I would totally go to the secret floor if we can find a water barrel in any reasonable proximity. Reasonable basically being on the map. Let's clarify. I'm gonna flip tables so I don't accidentally break my uh, my water barrel because I've done that before, and it was an upsetting time. Are there any water barrels? Oh, I blanked in here, so if there was one, likely there wasn't. That would have been a real, real bad thing to do. I basically shot the one point blank, so if there isn't another one, it's definitely 100% my fault. And I don't think there can be one where we start. This is unfortunate and annoying. Oh boy. If anybody kept a water barrel in the library, I would question their sanity, but it's a gungeon, not uh Oh my gosh. Really nothing. It's quite possible that there's just no more water barrels. As long as I don't see another dead one, which would imply that I shot it. I don't think there's another one. Ah, unfortunate. We would have gotten more shroomers if we went down there, presuming we didn't die, because that's happened. Yeah, I believe we've checked everywhere now. 
everywhere short of the way to the boss. So we'll check that way. And if there isn't one there, then, well, we just have to accept our fate. Though, for what it's worth, it feels to me like the wind should also be able to put it out. I'd be wrong, but it feels that way. Alright, so no second route for us, unfortunate. Oh, oh there's a water barrel! Aha! Suck it! I was about to walk in here and immediately blank too, because there's a chance. Like, there can be a second secret room. There can be. It is unlikely. But I've seen it. Just need to. There we go. Look, I accept this is going to take a long time. Tables are a danger to water barrel existence. Oh my god, it was off by a pixel, but it still worked. Like, I accept that it was off by a pixel. Like, I definitely saw the pixel on the edge right into the wall. better this way, because we need some leeway. Oh my god. We have so, so long to go. I'm just impressed that I can push a barrel this hard that it keeps going for this long. That thing's got some momentum. I've gotten way too good at this. I think it's easier to just go through the shop. Or maybe not. Okay, it turned out to be easier to go through the shop. Maybe. I still don't know for sure. This is this endeavor has taken a very long time. But we're gonna do it. Because why not? Because if we manage to clear it, we get a lot more. Uh, we get a lot more uh, of our of our hunt, and that's really what our goal is at this point: is to get more of those guys. So, if we take a little bit longer, it's okay. I should seriously consider using my other gun. Come on, please die. I do have two keys, which is better than... Ah, damn it. It spawned right on top of me, so... We do not get uh, shot manipulation here. Okay, 
Okay, this seems to be the way to go. Is right here. I probably didn't have to go this way, but. efficiency right there. Blue is pretty good. I'll probably end up opening it, but <clears throat> there's a shroomer. Now I have much more respect for the lives of water barrels. No! He died. I don't even know what hit him. Of course, now we don't need water barrels. It's not an issue. It's just funny. You are certainly a priority. Another shroomer. Oh my. Oh, yeah, you're the priority here. Although I'm noticing how much slower the bullets are going because of him. Normally, those shotgun bullets can catch you out without you even realize like they're just so fast if you don't see him and he fires them they might just get you anyway crap got one of those source looks like it's luckily in this big room the bouncing bullets aren't nearly as bad because the walls are so much far away so much further away That is a really big room. Alright, well we found our chalice. This is what we have to try and bring to the... Uh, the shrine, I think is what I've been calling it. Well, that's convenient. So we have to try and bring to the shrine on the next floor. But we want to pick it up last, or late, because if we get hit with it, we lose it. Alright. Secret rooms are ours. That means this is a gun. I... Oh, I don't want to go in back that way. We'll deal with that later. Okay, it means we, have, we, we no longer have to shoot stuff. Find out where our secret rooms are. There will be a nice uh, brick who is betraying his kind. I, I think that's how it's actually quoted in the, uh, in, in the flavor text. That he's betraying his kind because he's a brick. Even though it says brick of cash, he's still a brick. And he will basically show us where secret rooms are. That's how I've known that there's been floors that have two secret rooms, is because we've seen him twice. That item is allowing me to pull this off in ways that I should not be able to pull it off. Got three bullets out. Alright, well here's our shop. We do have a good bit of money. We might not have a key. We do not have a key, but we do have an itchy trigger finger. If I can afford, I will totally buy. It means you can just fire faster. It's good. means you can output damage faster, which is almost always better. Obviously, you go through the same amount of ammo, so it doesn't help you in that regard, but as I said, getting damage out faster means things die faster, which means they have less chance to hurt you. Of course, if you're missing, I mean, there are certain situations, like, if you feel like you're firing constantly, is going to help you. Wow, we've been finding lots of keys. That is going to be a godsend. Okay, got a wall in between me and him. Take care of the shotguns. Nice. 
That worked out very well. Better than I would have initially expected. Okay, just need to run in circles and pump a whole bunch of bullets into the center here. Anything that isn't immune to toxic will die via toxic. Because we've got something trailing toxic in there. I think those guys just vomited. These uh, blobs have been a little bit later to the party. Poison. All right, so that is everything, isn't it? All right, man, we already have a good bit of money back. Let's go ahead and open this. We found two keys on this floor, which means this floor basically pays for itself, which is really good. Oh my god, it's the Tangler. I love the Tangler. I, I do need to find the secret room, though. but safely. Interesting. I didn't see it in... I didn't see it in either of the chest rooms, which is unfortunate. But it means that it's good that we got this as an item, because there's a very low chance that I will find a secret room not in a treasure room. It's just unlikely. They're hard to find. There's no solid pattern that I'm aware of. It's one of those things that I should go research, because in Isaac there was that really solid pattern. And while this game is certainly a little bit inspired by Isaac, it is not inherently... Isaac. So, it, like, there are things that they've done that are incredibly different, which is good. You don't want to just remake games. You want to innovate. But also kind of throw me off my game a little bit, because I'm used to the game behaving in a certain way. Primarily the, you only get the bonus if you hit, you know, beat the boss no hit. Because no hit here includes armor. You, you can't lose armor. Whereas in Isaac, the equivalent of armor is soul hearts. It's very possible that the Brick of Cash A is eluding my sight because I'm really bad at seeing him sometimes. B is somewhere we haven't been yet, which is also quite possible. So. Like, I haven't checked back that since I've gotten the item. I think I'm, I'm backtracking now. So it could be in this room. Yep. Okay, the Nintendo... The light gun is actually really good. I like how it subtext is third party. Alright, so we're going to go kill our Blobulin friend here. Now, there is no benefit to not getting hit, except for the whole not dying part. But that's, you know, a worthwhile benefit, if you ask me. If he ever leads you with one of those, switch directions, by the way. That's the strategy that has kept me going. This light gun is absolutely wrecking him, actually. Interesting. That did not go the way that I expected it to. That was actually really close. He led, so he switched directions. He led me, so he switched directions. That was actually a lot easier than last time, although it did take basically all of our ammo here. I have no idea what that is. Ok, 
Okay, this can't hurt you. I wanted to check. But you can kill it. I have no idea what this bullet is, but we're gonna find out. Chaos bullets. Taste the pain bow? This sounds like uh, Rainbow Baby or uh, uh, Rainbow. I know Fruitcake is one of them. Uh, in Isaac. A $3 bill. $3 bill. It sounds like $3 bill. Bullets have a chance to do something to foes. These unpredictable bullets change from moment to moment. Always destructive, never boring. Sounds like fun. Taste the pain bow. I like it. Alright. We're going to employ the tangler. And we're going to try and get this to the shrine. We got three blanks, so I'm not going to hesitate to use them. Especially because we only need one to find the secret room. Because we will know exactly where it is. Just checking this room because that is it. You can get a secret room in there. Now, this chalice always stays on top, so you can't like pick up other armor to save yourself. have to find the shrine. And the tangler is amazing, so. As long as the rooms aren't too big. Plus. Wow. The benefit we have of all bullets being slower I'm probably going to end up opening that anyway, but we'll hold off for now. Okay, that is awesome for our light gun. I'm gonna go to the shop because the shop tends to have the shrine off of it. Obviously this is not the case in this instance, but usually it tends to. So either that, uh, NPCs, so this marks an NPC, or shrine. Uh, NPCs, or yeah, I guess, really shouldn't call it a shrine because the other stuff's called shrines. What is this? Shrine for Sir Junkin, who rose from nothing to become one of Gungeon's greatest knights. Sir Junkin's boon, knight in shining armor. I don't know what that does. I don't even care, but we had junk and I gave it to him. God, I'm not sure. I have no idea what this does. I wonder if it increases your chance of getting Sir Junkin. Or if he like shows up during boss fights or something. That'd be really cool. Man, I have no idea where to go next. This feels like it has the most room for growth in terms of like it's a dead end. of grenades. One of those was ice. I don't even know what turns them purple. Yeah, well we found the boss. Oh man. We're actually doing pretty solid here, so... Okay. Knowing me, I'm gonna pass on this right now. That all balanced out. I'm going to pass in this room because there's a chance that I just basically eat it. There's a chance that I just eat it um, without, you know, having to fight an enemy or something. So I'm going to try the other way first. Four isn't generally that hard, so. Oh, 
The fact that we have a Tangler is very nice. I'm trying to play it super safe here, so this is probably a... Dang. sitting around. This is once again when I wish there was something um, dark bum equivalent. That's, that's what we're looking for. So there's going to be a chest off of one of these rooms and the shrine's going to be off the other, which is fantastic because we have succeeded. I honestly don't succeed at that very often, so it's, it's fun when you actually do. Oh, this is the the bullet that fires guns. God damn it. It's it's a hilarious item, but it is super goddamn silly. Ooh. Helix bullets, praise be. Okay, so Helix bullets, praise be, uh, is a reference to Twitch Plays Pokemon. If you are not aware of Twitch Plays Pokemon and you enjoy Pokemon, I suggest looking it up. What does this do, though? Cause it's going to fire additional an additional shot bullets to move in a helical pattern and apply marginally less damage. DNA of some forgotten dungeon creature. So this is, of course, referencing the Helix fossil from Pokemon. If you do not know anything about Pokemon, this will make absolutely no sense to you. I apologize beforehand, but believe me, it's it's hilarious. Uh, um, <laughs> basically, when Twitch played Pokemon, it was people typing into chat. Okay, I think we can do this. Okay, I don't... That actually did a ton of damage. Oh my gosh, this is insane. I've gotten this item before, but... I'm gonna stop explaining while I'm doing this because reasons. Nice. Um, right, so basically people would type stuff into chat and it would basically control what Twitch, or what, what they did, what Pokemon, what the character in Pokemon did, so you could type up down. There's a whole bunch of other stuff that went on. That's the basic thing, it's basically a whole, it's a group think. Actually, that's not what I wanted. It's a, it was a group think to beat the game. Wow, there's just like no teleporters down here. Uh, I could pick up another key. I've got three keys. But we're going really long, so. But yeah, so it was that group thing to, to solve to beat Pokemon. It worked out okay. Um, but it basically had a whole bunch of stuff along the way, and one of them was whether or not they picked the, picked the Helix fossil or the... Uh, I actually don't know what the other fossil is, because I always preferred Ammonite to Kabuto. I think Kabutops is cooler, but... I think the Ammonite Omastar thing is also really cool. I don't know, it's, it's a whole different thing. But basically... Ah, uh, how do you get the true gun? Long story short, there was a giant debate that was not... Okay, they are just jammed. I, was, I thought there was a jammed... a guy who creates jammed things. We have a lot of chaos -y bullet crap, so... There was a giant debate over which one should be taken. They ended up taking the Helix Fossil. Some people were really unhappy about it. They're basically this little tiny mini joke religion got made out of it. And so they were like false prophets and true prophets and all sorts of other silly things. 
And so yeah, it was praise the helix because the fossil is called the helix fossil. And they just went, you know, praise be. And it became a thing. And it was it's one of those things that you appreciate if you know the source material, or if you were there. I feel like you were there is pretty important to some of it. I wasn't there for all of it, but I was there for some of it. So yeah. A lot of crazy shit happened, let's just put it that way. And the system developed to the point where they definitely... That would have been really bad to have shot him when he was collecting. But yeah, they, it was, it was a ride. Let's just put it that way. It was a ride. A good ride. But definitely on the unique end of things you will see in your lifetime. Oh god. Okay, I, I was wondering what it would do. We've only, oh, we've only got two shots left. What am I going to use after this? Who knows. I want to give this a chance. Looks like it's pretty good. <laughs> the real animation, right? RN. You know, I haven't actually figured out what all like those letters that they can do if there's actually some significance to it or not. What are you? I am Brother Albert, knower of several truths. If thou seekest to open mine truth chest, then ponder mine question thusly. What did thou eat for breakfast? We okay, so we can't actually do this. I'm gonna go with oatmeal. It seems like punks like you is like a funny joke. It's a, it's a pun, it's not the truth. Verily, it must be so. Receive thy reward, O truthful hero. Alright. This is a use item, so... Interesting. Ooh, Smiley's revolver. Guess we're going back to the Tangler, though. So the knife shield is weird. Um, it is a cursed item, as you saw. Which is why I didn't want to pick it up and then have to pick up my uh, thing to do it again. But you can launch all the knives. As such. May be useful. Ooh, this is the shot. Yes, I'm still alive, jackass. I have to decide whether or not I want to buy things. I might want to buy the blanks, to be perfectly honest. I don't actually know if the knife shield deals damage to things when you get close. Definitely not what I wanted to do, but it happens. It's the first time we've been hit in a little while, so. Once again, those uh, sped up bullets. Interesting. Okay, they block bullets, it seems. So, the helix thing makes the tangler, like, even more deadly at close range. Okay, interesting how everything's bouncing. 
some serious effort, but we got through. Dang it. Wasn't much I could do there. I'm trapped, so... Ooh, that's a shitty room. That is not how I expected that to go, but it worked. Okay, it looks like we don't need to buy keys. There's a decent chance that we don't survive this floor. Because the boss at the end of this is really hard. Oh, charm is the is the purple one. Trying to get all those bullets in is really hard. But this is our second chest. A see, look, second secret room. Okay, not what I was hoping for for a blank. And this is Scattershot. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so this is my starter pistol. This is insane. I like it, but holy shit. Oh my god. I, I, it probably makes everything too slightly less damage, doesn't it? More bullets, less damage. Okay. So that's really good for our hexagon, though, uh, because it just has a chance to transform, which is really its biggest benefit, even though it does do some decent damage. All I need is guaranteed bouncing bullets. And, I mean, this is already insane. I just don't know if it's good. <laughs> this is crazy. I just don't know if it's good. Alright. Um, armor is 30. A blank is 24. I think I'm going to need it. You know, I'm going to try the balloon gun. got kill pillars. You know, I did call this guy hard. Oh gosh, this is empty. I mean, anything with homing is good, so these ducks seem like they're quality. in the meantime, but I don't think I'm going to die, and I've got a bunch of red health sitting on this floor. Maybe not a bunch, but some. Big bada boom. Alright, what needs ammo? A balloon gun, apparently. Well! Success! I don't think you get any benefit from beating him by not getting hit, I think. We did use all our blanks, we did lose all of our uh, armor, but that happens. <laughs> I mean, you hope it doesn't, but it happens. I'm really looking for Captain Planet, the ring.
It's worth noting that the fours are easier now. Also, the knife shield charges while you use it, so... I guess the flip side of the coin of the point that I was making earlier, where it messes with me that soul hearts uh, count as or er, don't count, armor doesn't count as soul hearts, does an Isaac, is that if you get hit on the rest of the floor, it doesn't matter. That's that's your flip side, right? Wow. I like this combo. I've decided. I like it. Now, if I get something like Crutch, it will be truly and utterly insane. Something that gives me a level of homing. <laughs> so many bullets. I think that's just going to be the title of this episode, is So Many Bullets. Okay, that's empty. I'm just gonna use this for a little while. No. I was honestly not expecting that. I actually want it in here. I want it in here because I don't want it falling into the wrong hands. Like, first of falling into the wrong hands. Falling into the ground. Or into the pit. Alright, we did take some damage there to draw him back into here, but that's okay. I honestly wasn't expecting that to go off. I really wasn't. We haven't seen a mimic in a really long time. Wait, what does this look like? Oh my god. That actually might be really good. I wonder what the heroin would look like. Things I won't be able to find out. Uh, what was I using even? There we go. I just, like, can't see bullets when this is happening. Alright, shopkeep, what you got for us? This makes all our minions stronger, but I don't have any familiars. Did I hear fairies? No, I must not have. That's helpful. I'm basically using this gun while I still can, because this is not going to be useful very soon. And by very soon, I mean it basically already isn't. Because it does a lot of scatter damage. Like just a lot of AoE. Which is useful in some cases, but not many. So, let's fill up the Tangler. Said so next. Wow, okay, the light, the light gun's the only other thing that's down on ammo, even. The fact that you can't see shit when it's going off is also a really big downside to this gun. I don't think I've gotten hit because of it yet, but I would not put it past. Like, it will totally happen if I keep using this gun, if I keep refilling it with ammo. Mimics. You're a brown chest too, which means you might not even give me anything. Eh, table tech blanks? No, that's table tech rage. Table tech sight. Oh my god. So. That's how many bullets. That's how many bullets. <laughs> it gave us another way, another way to add more bullets to our shot. 
I don't think this is random. Just gonna go ahead and throw that out there. I lagged the game, guys. I lagged the game. Yeah! I lagged the game! This is freaking stupid. I love it. Well, spent a blank, got a blank. It's better than getting nothing. All right, so we have the we we have the ability to lag, enter the gungeon. I never thought I would see the day. I am not gonna lie to you. It did not seem like a reasonable thing. It's not a terribly processor-intensive game. Well, we're gonna run out of ammo, so we're not gonna be able to do it. Lagging the game doesn't seem to have. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what hit me. Oh, did, was I... Was I stepping in this for too long? That seems like a reasonable thing to happen to me. Okay, thank god this gun is empty. Let's go to Smiley's Revolver. Smiley's Revolver's a really good gun. That's a really good gun. NPC. Hello. Hello. Look. I need, what, nine more money? There's no way I don't get that this floor. There's no... I will sell something. If the, does the shop even have a sell thing? I don't think it does. Chances of me getting less than nine money for the remainder of this floor is really low. There's three. Okay, I guess it's not impossible. Don't screw me, game. Don't screw me. You know you want to see this. I want to flip a table and fire some motherfucking rockets. This room seems like it'll have enough. We've got it. I feel like there's a lot of extra rooms, and this this floor seems really large. Do whatever you're gonna do from in there, buddy. It's not really gonna help you. You got two bullets out of that corner. I need to remember to use that. It, it gave me a curse, so I, I should, you know. Remember to use it! So that it wasn't just a waste of a curse. It's really unfortunate there generally aren't tables in boss fights. their explosions so they'll destroy like all the bullets. Oh my god I got hit by that. And again. Wow I'm actually like dying. I have my pistol out. Alright, I took a lot of damage there. Way more damage than I should have. Yeah, 
Yeah, basically, yeah, I got a curse to do that. Not particularly great. Look, that's, it's basically a boss kill. As long as I don't, you know, fuck it up, which I basically just did. Alright, so we're, wait, is there any red health left? No, there is no red health left. Just so you, just as a reminder, that was 4-3. We've, we've done five floors now because we did two extra floors. So, we've got a long way to go still. I almost got hit by that. Good, slowly building it back up. Go Marine, go. Man, I would totally love to trade something for damage. Just damage is... Damage would be nice. Oh, you were frozen. I just didn't even... I was like, where is he? What happened? He got pushed into a corner. Give me a challenge. I actually might not have the money. Pea shooter! Okay, that's bad. That is not what I wanted to do. Oh, the vertebrae K. I love the vertebrae K. The, the name alone is fantastic. But just remember, the more weapons we have, the less likely we are to run out of bullets. And I want that Captain Planet Ring, which increases your damage to every gun that you have. Because by your powers combined, he is Captain Planet. Okay. Oh shit. I, this isn't what I. Ah, damn it. <sighs> now I got three curse. I mean, curse isn't the worst thing in the world. We've got enough firepower to handle it. It's just more of an inconvenience. actually pretty good. I, it's growing on me. You could like suddenly out of nowhere get a crap ton of knockback. Oh. Darn. That was unfortunate. Really wish I hadn't gotten hit there. Things are getting really ugly right about now. No, not that, not that.
upset. The hexagon... Oh, that's, that chicken's poison. The hexagon's really good. It can transform everything. I, I'm looking at my guns here, trying to figure out what to use. Maybe I should use a light gun. It's pretty low on ammo. You want to finish guns ammo off. Because that way you get more effectiveness out of a, an ammo crate. Don't ask me why I'm using this right now. Oh my god. I need more keys. I, it is basically is just the game's way of saying you shouldn't have bought all those keys. Alright. Uh, this is a room for the hex again. Every second that guy's alive is likely that we end up in trouble. Wait, I just turned death into a chicken. Okay! I did not know you could do that. I'm not gonna lie. I've never taken the time to shoot death with one of with this gun because it seemed like it wouldn't work that way. Actually, wait. Where's Smiley's revolver? Was I out? Yes. Okay. I just want to make sure. Man, we're running really well on good guns. Bullshit, but okay. That's one way to end somebody. We need some help. That's probably what I'm spending my money on here. Okay, I have no idea how this will react. We haven't found the shop yet, but I probably have to buy health. I'm running way too low on health. I shouldn't be running this low on health, considering how much power I have. Out pretty well. I need to use my knife shield more. Oh, nice! Mustache makes things. Oh, is it either makes things cheaper or gives me a chance to heal when I spend money? The gun dead are closing in. I don't think I'm going to make it. I don't want to die again. Waking up in the breach, it's the worst feeling. Interesting. I have to... It's these. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so the dueling laser is good in one-on-one -on -one fights. So bosses, basically. It has a charge just like everything else. But it has infinite ammo, I think. So, uh, yeah. Familiar face, I believe, gives you a discount, but it might just give you a chance to heal. Yeah, a chance to heal when money is spent. Gosh darn it. Means that I've got more incentive to buy cheaper things. I might buy the ammo crate at some point if I feel like I'm running low. I'm not going to have enough money to spend on the next floor, so. Uh, were we on the Tangler? I believe so. That's what I should be using. Come on. I have so many guns, it's actually hard to find the gun that I'm looking for, which is actually a good sign. Okay, what's our poison? Okay, I don't know if this is true, but he is a ghost.
All bullets being slower here does this a big favor. Looks like he got poisoned. Why am I not using the commando? I guess the commando doesn't help in this part. Oh my gosh, I walked right into that. I thought I was moving faster than it was. Alright. Fine game. Okay, well, we desperately needed that. The Gungeon Ant is kind of useless, unfortunately. Um, what do I want to refill? I want to refill Smiley's Revolver. It's the most efficiency I can get out of it. We're doing better for health. I would like to have more health containers, but... The Commando is going to be really useful for the Lich if we get that far. If we get that far, being like a key phrase. Oh man, so many empty guns. I think it's time to use the. Oh no, we still we still have guns. We still have bolts in the tangler. Okay, we should be seeing. So okay, ah, I have like three things to say. We should start to see. No fairies! I have a strictly, a very strict no fairy policy. Man, table tech site was really good. Alright, I've, I've been losing track of, oh well, it's not losing track, I've been piling up things that I need to talk about. <laughs> Alright, so first, uh, in the last room, since it's actually relevant to things happening, we actually took fire damage, because the fire ticked over to the start, but we took that damage and it gave us iframes for the bullet that we took. So my forgetfulness in fire did not actually cost us any extra. So that's a big boom. Crap. Okay, I'm surprised I didn't get hit there. Of course. Oh, it looks like I actually. Oh gosh. I want to be in here. guys show up. They always get hit by these. Maybe I didn't want to be in here. Where more of them can get to me. Wow, I'm taking a lot of really stupid damage here. And I have a table too. Keep exploring this branch. And I've totally lost track of some of the other things that I wanted to say. Oh my gosh, I almost walked into that too. Taking a lot of stupid damage here. 